Today, we've got some disturbing secrets lurking in the shadows of Skyrim. But before we dive into the darkness, let's give a big congratulations to our lucky giveaway winner, at Royal Gaming 42. Now, hold on to your helmets because we've got another exciting giveaway coming your way. Stay tuned, and we'll reveal how you can win a Steam CD key for another Skyrim Anniversary Edition later in the video. In the region of Jalmark, the Dragonborn has the opportunity to encounter a scruffy yet loyal dog by the name of Miko. This four-legged friend won't leave the area and will approach anyone passing by with a hopeful expression, inviting them to follow him. Miko will lead you to his home, simply known as Miko's Shack. Inside this humble abode, you will bear witness to what Miko was guarding so diligently. A Nord owner, now deceased, lies on the bed in a peaceful repose, while remnants of his past life remain scattered throughout the shack, including bread and a lantern. By reading the owner's journal, one can discover that he passed away due to the disease rock joint. It's possible to enlist Miko to follow you on your travels, but should you decide to part ways, he will always return to his shack and stay close to his beloved former owner. War is a scary experience that can hurt a person's mind and body. In Skyrim, the civil war has affected soldiers and civilians. Salvianus is a soldier who fought in the Great War and now lives in Riften's secret Ratway Warrant with the city's thieves. He has PTSD and tells us about how hard it is to cope with the bad things he saw in the battlefield. He doesn't want his medal because it reminds him of the atrocities he witnessed. He still remembers the fires and blood from the war. When the Thalmer attack, he gets scared and thinks they are ghosts from the old war. There's a small tent near the Sea of Ghosts in Dawnstar that looks like many others in Skyrim. A couple who was in love used to live there, but they are not there anymore. However, you can still see things that belong to them inside the tent, like sleeping mats, flowers, and empty wine bottles. There's also an amulet of Mara, which means the goddess of love and is used when people want to get married. We don't know for sure what happened to them, but there are a few possibilities. They might have drowned in the cold sea and washed up on shore, or they might have been attacked and killed by hawkers, which are like big walruses. In the town of Evosted, there resides a young Nord beggar named Nafi who lived with his sister Raider in the remains of their family home. However, Raider has gone missing, causing Nafi to become mentally unstable due to the loss of his only remaining family member. Despite her disappearance being six months ago, Nafi still refuses to believe that she is dead and seeks help from anyone, including the Dragonborn, to locate her. According to Nafi, she would collect ingredients along the islands near the coast. Upon reaching the area, her remains can be found at the bottom of the river. Her identity can be confirmed by returning her necklace to her brother. Despite his heartbreak, Nafi will give her a proper burial. Sadly, Nafi is also involved in another tragic quest which will eventually lead to his death via a contract with the Dark Brotherhood. Hope you're enjoying this video. To enter the giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe to our channel, like this video, and leave a comment below sharing your most disturbing Skyrim secret. We will announce the lucky winner in two weeks, so stay tuned for that. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future giveaways and Skyrim content. Once upon a time, a Dunman named Talva and a Breton named Karen fell deeply in love. However, Karen's dad didn't approve of their relationship because Talva was a poor miner. So, they made a plan to save up enough money and run away to Riften. They stashed their savings in a tree stump and eventually earned enough to elope. Sadly, when you stumble upon their campsite, you'll find their lifeless bodies, and an aggressive animal nearby. Despite their efforts to escape, their love story ended in tragedy. The top part of Skyrim is much colder than the bottom. It gets colder fast, and there are many snowstorms that can get in your way. Not many people live up north, so it can be difficult to survive. If you explore the area, you'll find two skeletons sitting close to each other. One of them got their leg caught in a bear trap, but there aren't any other clues to explain what happened. They could have been lovers, friends, or family. When one couldn't move on without the other, they stayed and died together in the cold weather of Skyrim. In a secret camp on Saltheim, you'll discover the body of an Argonian named Usher. He's lying near a waterfall with skooma bottles around him. You'll find a gold mining pan and gold ore nearby. Next to him, there's a letter addressed to him. It tells the story of Usher and his love for Manessa. 
Her family didn't want her to marry him because he was poor, but she still loved him. Manessa begged Usher to let her know where he was, but sadly, he died of a skooma overdose before he could respond. In Riften, there are some people who are not thieves. One of these people is Hadria, who helped his friend burn mine gold in Lost Prospect Mine, located near the city. Byrne had recently bought the mine for a low price, hoping to find a valuable gold vein. While digging, Hadria grew tired and returned to Riften to get supplies. When he came back, Byrne was gone, and Hadria thought his friend had abandoned him. However, if you go behind the waterfall, you'll find out what happened to Byrne. He had found three gold veins, but while digging, rocks fell and crushed him. You'll see his skeleton holding a pickaxe. Pilgrim's Trench is located near the Sea of Ghosts. If you visit the small island, you'll come across Trias Camp. Sadly, there's nobody living there, only a sleeping mat, a few pans, and a large sack beside a skeleton. Trias was waiting for his love, Shelley, who was coming by boat. Even though he feared she might have died, he was still waiting for her. Unfortunately, Trias passed away before Shelley's arrival. It's possible that Shelley's boat was one of the four shipwrecks in the Sea of Ghosts. So, Trias might have been waiting in vain for his love. There is a small building called the Frostflow Lighthouse on the coast of Winterhold. Inside, there is blood, a body, and the corpse of a Chorus. The journals in the house tell the story of a Redguard couple, Habd and Ramati, and their two children who bought the lighthouse. But there was a terrible secret in the cellar, an infestation of Chorus and Farmer, who killed the family. If the Dragonborn removes the infestation, they can bury Hab's bones in the lighthouse flame to fulfill his wish of helping guide ships. Thanks for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed making it for you. If you did, please consider supporting us on Patreon. One of our main goals is to create more giveaways in the future. We believe that our viewers and patrons deserve to be rewarded for their generosity, which is why we're committed to hosting regular giveaways and contests. By supporting us on Patreon, you'll be helping us make this a reality. We understand that not everyone is able to support us financially, which is why there are other ways you can help us out. You can share our videos with your friends and family, like and comment on our videos, and follow us on social media. Every little bit helps, and we appreciate all of your support. Thank you again for watching, and we look forward to creating more amazing content for you in the future.